Hello everybody and thanks for tuning in to my channel. It is April 26th, 2020 and uh, we are still in COVID-19 quarantine. So I thought I'd do a little man cave presentation. Everybody on YouTube seems to be putting up their uh, man cave. So this is my uh, man garage cave, if you will. This is where I do all my collecting, all my displaying. I put up my N-scale trains here in during Christmas. Uh, I do collect, as you can see, GI Joes. I have been trying to put together, collect every single GI Joe that they ever made from 1991 um, to uh, 2013, I believe. Maybe I have some later, but. As of last count, which I did put together an Excel spreadsheet of all the ones that I have in the garage right here. Uh, and we have one of each and uh, there's 383, not including the adventure team ones that they put out, which I also have, not including the 40th anniversary ones, which I also have, those are in the attic. I don't have any vehicles out here um, or any large dioramas that may have come with some of the GI Joes, but you can see I made shelves and they're all around the room as best as I could display them. Of course, everybody has to have, uh, if you grew up in the 80s, you gotta have your own Pac-Man machine. So I was a huge uh, Miss Pac-Man fan, but this also has uh, Donkey Kong on here, Frogger. There's about 60 different games on here, all from the 80s, which is great. Gotta have the beer fridge. Got the beer fridge in here. All the neighbors come over on Friday for happy hour, which is nice. Got to have uh, dog treats right there in the corner for all the people that walk by with their dogs. They always stop, see my collection. You can see all the uh, the posters that I put together uh, on the bottom walls. Keep the garage really clean as best as I can, even though uh, even though it gets really uh, dusty and. Uh, um, what am I trying to think of? The pollen, the pollen in Virginia Beach is very bad. Uh, again, right now in the springtime, and if I leave my garage open too long, you'll see this yellow dust in here at the end of the day. It's it's crazy. I could clean these things uh, once a week and they, they never stay clean. If you're looking right here at my uh, Star Wars collection, once again, I only collect one of each figure. There's no doubles. Um, I tried to put them on uh, little, uh, risers there the foam risers in the back so you can see the ones in the back but again there's one of every one none of the uh i sold all my original ones from the 70s and 80s when i was a kid um but these are all the newer ones as you can tell even the newer movies which are down here and at last count i had over a thousand uh different figures here so see see this is what my neighbors love to do they come and they just turn one like they think i won't find that you know what i mean but so I got some neighbors that like to screw with me on from time to time. But anyway, I was just uh, showing you a quick glimpse of uh, my man cave and where I do uh, my end scale modeling uh, right here. Got all my supplies underneath there for all the end scale modelers. Put all that together right here. Again, work with my GI Joes. If you've seen my other uh, GI Joe video that I just posted, uh, you'll see the blue background. All that was was... Just dropping the sheet down, taking pictures right here. Uh, everything was just done with the cell phone, so. But again, if you're in the Virginia Beach area, in the future, once we get out of this uh, COVID-19 thing, please stop by for a happy hour. Thanks again. Paul Knapp, signing out.